going on, guys? It's Rob from Harrow's Avenue. Happy Monday. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Excuse the mess while I reorganize behind me. Uh, it's a work in progress. Anyways, DC Fandom is this Saturday. And uh, amongst fans, uh, outside of all the panels that you're looking forward to, from me, uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of panels, but the main headline for me is Zack Snyder's Justice League. But outside of that... The main topic fans are really kind of speculating on outside of the panels you're looking forward to is what the surprise panels are going to be. Now, there's going to be two surprise panels. One is comic books related. Now, I'm very interested in that. But uh, outside of that, uh, the to be determined panel uh, is one that is really intriguing a lot of us fans, especially on social media. And what I'm going to do in this video today is add to that conversation and just kind of speculate, let you guys know what I think the secret panel is going to be. And I definitely have no insider knowledge on this. So I'm just guessing just like you guys probably are. And I want to know what you think in the comments down below as I list off like what I think about each potential possibility. So before we get started, I do want to announce I did just launched my uh, second channel. It's my personal channel. Uh, I got a couple vlogs up on there. If you guys are interested in following a channel that's uh, going to scope every kind of topic uh, that interests me, uh, go ahead and give me my other channel a follow. Uh, I'll link it up top here and at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get into some of the exciting things to talk about today, guys. So we are going to be talking about the uh, special announcement but I did want to go ahead and take a look at Zack Snyder's post here on Twitter. And he probably posted it on Vero as well. But basically, he's been doing this countdown uh, to DC Fandom. And the newest one has to do with, uh, it says, in five days. He posted one earlier that said, uh, let's see what he posted earlier right here. Uh, here we go. So in six days was the first one. He posted this yesterday. He's going to show us a new image. This first one right here has to do with the Hall of Justice scene uh, at the end of the, the movie. And it just goes to show you that this was his idea to put the Hall of Justice in the movie. And that's something I actually like in the original uh, theatrical cut. So we all know this is going to be Zack Snyder's uh, scene right here. A lot of fans are also kind of really looking in to this uh, particular picture, finding letters like the ladder representing an A, the uh, this part right here representing an F, and um, I'm not really subscribing to any of that. Maybe it is. I know Zack Snyder's very cryptic, um, so that's, that's what's really cool about him, but I haven't really looked into it. If you guys have any thoughts about it, let me know in the comments down below because I haven't found anything that's incredibly uh, believable right now. Anyways, this, this, this newest one, he posted, uh, it uh, says, in five days, and you can see the Wonder Woman uh, the Wonder Woman statue right there. Let's take a look at what some of the fans are actually saying about this image right here. You can see uh, Film Gobs right here. Of looking, This dude looking super thirsty right now. I feel this guy right here. Um, and we got any funny ones right here. Release the hype engine, camp wait. Yep, I totally feel it. Um, these these gifts are like really what make Twitter worthwhile. Um, but anyways, we have five days till DC Fandom. I did mention that it's coming up. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to attempt to live stream it or if the, if the videos in the future will get um, knocked because uh, it's probably going to show some of the uh, actual footage from the event, which they're going to delete later apparently. So uh, I'm trying to decide whether we're going to live stream it or just do videos. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys want to see a live stream from us? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to this uh, surprise panel here. So the surprise panel. Here we go. Here we go. Surprise panel schedule. So as you can see, uh, I talked about it in my last video. I kind of put together my own schedule and also talked about the full schedule uh, for this uh, event. And as you can see at... Two o'clock, there's going to be a surprise DC Comics panel. Um, and then you got uh, Voices of Batman. Then you got the Snyder Cut of Justice League panel at 2.45, followed by the Black Adam panel, followed by a CNN uh, clip, uh, Real Life Heroes of the Coronavirus. And then this one right here, the 3.45 to be announced panel. Uh, this is the one that has everybody speculating. And just going to give you some thoughts, right? So... Um, I'm, to me, it really boils down to 
uh, maybe like five, uh, five different movies that it could really be. Maybe six, six movies it could be. So the first thought I have is Superman. Man of Steel himself, Henry Cavill, is not in this event. At least he's not listed, just like Ben Affleck isn't listed. Um, but that might be for a different reason. But anyways, a lot of people, including myself, I think in my reaction to this in my last video was, could it be a Superman sequel that they're announcing? Uh, that would be just incredible, right? Um, now, I'm going to be the negative person here and um, and just kind of dim my hopes. I'm going to say it's probably not the Superman panel. And again, I hope it is. I really hope this, this is on the top of my list of hopes. I wish it was. But I don't think it's going to be the Superman panel. And um, the reason I'm thinking uh, this is because if you look at the time, 3.45, uh, and the next panel is already at 4, the Aquaman panel, I don't think it's... I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be, uh, you know, a Superman panel is going to need a little bit more time than 10 to 15 minutes uh, because Superman, it's Superman. Like, you're going to need to give him Henry Cavill, and Henry Cavill seems to be a guy who really loves the attention. He's going to want more fanfare than that, I imagine. And that's the only reason why, really, because it really would make all the sense in the world to announce a Superman or a Man of Steel to panel. It would just make sense, but given how... Uh, Aquaman is right up next, um, and it's so far away from the Snyder Cut of Just League panel. I would imagine if Henry Cavill does come in, he'll probably jump in as a guest during the Snyder Cut panel. Uh, but yeah, or the Black Adam panel. But at this particular spot for 10 15 minutes, I don't think it's going to be Superman. Uh, Justice League 2. Uh, I'm already going to mark that one off because Justice League 2, if you're going to announce the Justice League 2, you're going to announce it during the Snyder Cut panel. It only makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to knock that one off right off the bat. One thing I do think it could be potentially, Jason Momoa I don't think is listed on the list of people, the long list of people on the DC Fandom website. Aquaman 2. I think Aquaman 2, uh, while we all know the sequel is already going to be happening, I think if you look at where the placement is for uh, for this to be announced uh, schedule, the slot, it's only 10 minutes. And, it, and following it is the Aquaman, the regular Aquaman panel with James Wan, uh, who has teased a little bit about what he's going to talk about. Um, but I think if you spotlight Aquaman 2 and bring in Jason Momoa as a guest, I think it could be just a cool surprise guest because we know Jason Momoa isn't uh, listed kind of like Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck. He's one of the Justice League members that's not listed in the DC Fandom lineup. And wouldn't it be cool, it would always be really cool to see Jason Momoa pop up in one of these things. And um, uh, I, I, the only thing is I think it would be hard for him to resist jumping onto the Zack Snyder panel, which happens earlier. Uh, but uh, if he can hold back and he can, he can kind of restrain himself and just save himself for this surprise panel right here, uh, I think the fans would get so hyped. And given how it's only 10 minutes and we already know Jason Momoa, we know him as Aquaman, I think 10 minutes, 15 minutes is a great uh, way to get the fans hyped and kind of lead and segue into the Aquaman panel. So that's my case for Aquaman 2. That is probably the number one uh, thing for me right now as I kind of talk myself through these choices. Next up. Um, now, think about this too. Cyborg, I've seen Cyborg thrown out there a while. Ray Fisher's definitely doing his thing, attacking uh, Joss Whedon and Jeff Johns, most likely holding a potential, um, uh, ma ma uh, making a case uh, to hold Jeff Johns li liable in, in the court of law for what his actions, for his actions during the set of Justice League. And um, again, we're going to do a part two of that video when Ray Fisher talks once again. Um, Darren made a part one to that video, but yeah, does it make sense for Cyborg to be during this time slot? I don't think so. Uh, Green Lantern, we have seen hints from the Twitter accounts and everything from Green Lantern. It's been all over the social media, the talk of Green Lantern appearing in Justice League, uh, or, uh, a potential Green Lantern solo movie. Would it be for 10 minutes? I think the character deserves a little bit more that more than that again. So I don't think it's gonna be Green Lantern. I I think it would be awesome if it was Green Lantern. I know they're doing a, a show. Uh, I think it's Greg Berlanti and was it Jeff Johns? I don't know if they even want to uh, touch anything Jeff Johns right now. Uh, but uh, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. 
Um, another thing that's been floating around for sure, this this is another possibility. I think there was a New Gods movie by Ava DuVernay and Tom King that uh, they're, uh, Ava DuVernay directing, writing alongside comic book writer Tom King. That one is definitely a possibility because they've been working on this one for a while. Ava DuVernay's been pretty active on Twitter talking about uh, potentially, or, or all the possibilities, her love for the characters and all that. So that's the other possibility. Aquaman 2, New Gods. Uh, the other rumor that what was floating around a couple weeks ago was that Zatanna. This is the third one, Zatanna. It could be a Zatanna character uh, that they announced. Now, if you uh, kind of think about it, you know, New Gods and Zatanna are, uh, are well, the New Gods property itself and Zatanna, not the most popular uh, of characters for the mainstream audiences. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're a DC fan, you're very aware of the New Gods and Zatanna and probably big, big fans of them. But um, if I had to guess, uh, we, we all know Alchemist 2 is gonna happen, but I think introducing Jason Momoa uh, as a surprise guest uh, fo and following that is an Aquaman panel, I think it would make all the sense in the world. So if I had to guess, that would be it. Second guess, would be uh, Zatanna, just because of the rumors that were popping up. Third guess would be New Gods, although I'm not sure if that movie's ever going to get off the ground. That's just my guess. I'm really curious to know what you guys think um, in the comments down below. Please let me know if you guys uh, think it's going to be anything else or any of the other choices that I mentioned. Let me know and state your case for it. We'll talk about it in the future leading up to DC Fandom. It's only going to be this weekend. We don't have a long wait. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe uh, for more news, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, by the way, remember, check out my other channel. Like, subscribe, do all that. Thanks, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.